please join me in welcoming Leanne Davey. I'll give you a path of things you can do right away to ending the misery of toxic teams and starting to create the kind of teams we all deserve. What is the unique value of this team? And if there's one question that is standing in the way of your teams becoming high performing, it is that one. We all make negative assumptions. Is this just because of who said it? Can I get value out of what they said? Are you comfortable being uncomfortable. Everybody I talk to is waiting for everybody else to change. It is your responsibility to amplify the voices of other people on your team, particularly people who have a minority perspective, who don't think like other people think. Did anybody have a, a mom or a grandmom who said, if you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all? Until we're in the car. It's not about the democratic answer, it's about the best answer. And then you see what happens on your team when you have positive assumptions. We lovingly refer to our team inoculation program as the flu shot for teams. When was the last time that you honestly, openly went and asked for feedback? Changing how you behave will change your team. When you get there, the light bulbs start to go on because that's what it's going to take for you to be excellent. And you're having a fantastic morning. You got a whole bunch of stuff done. You're having the latte to reward yourself. It is a beautiful day. When an email alert pops up in that bottom corner of your screen, you know that one? Okay. And guess what? The email is from that person. That's all I have to say, isn't it? You know who I mean. That one that just rubs you the wrong way. You don't even remember how it all went south. You just know it ain't furry. <laughs> so here's what pops up. And you go, Ooh and your palms start to sweat, right? You, you know this person, and you know this email. You've had this email. And so you open it after probably taking a few more sips of your latte, and you read it, and it says, I received the draft presentation you sent. I caught a couple of mistakes. I have some ideas for how to make it better, and I'll come to your office at 3 o'clock. How do you feel? <laughs> Anxious. How do you feel? Defensive. Defense, defensive, yeah. Do you feel an appointment coming on at 3 o'clock? <laughs> oh, I forgot. I have to go to the dentist. OK. Shake your head like an Etch-a-Sketch. Get rid of that person. OK, now, I want you to picture that person at work who just always has your back. The person you can count on, the one you walk out of meetings with and sort of calibrate. How do you think that went? Yeah, that was good. <laughs> the one who, when you have something important, you say, would you just pass your eyes over this so um, you know, I'm nervous about it? Can you get that person in your head? Why is it always harder than the first person? <laughs> OK, can you get that person in your head, that, that confidant? OK, tomorrow morning. 10.45, fantastic morning, still warrior, still confident, drinking the latte. Email flashes up, and guess what it says? It says, I got the draft presentation you sent. I caught a couple of mistakes. I have some ideas about how to make it better. I'll come by your office at 3 o'clock. How do you feel? How do you feel? Supported. How do you feel? Participatory. Oh, participatory. Right? Uh, I'm, you know, getting out the jujubes for the 3 o'clock meeting. <laughs> I call it the mother-in-law effect. <laughs> All the things that if your mom said them, it'd be fine. But when your mother-in-law says them, 
So here's the thing. We are all prejudiced. We all make negative assumptions. It's natural, and it's way below the level of consciousness, so don't waste any energy trying to change it. But where you do need to invest is get that frontal lobe online as fast as you can. Be curious, be open, and remember, is this just because of who said it? Can I get value out of what they said? But you have an obligation as a member of a team to get a hold of your assumptions and to start with a positive assumption. Teams are how we spend our work lives. They're how we get stuff done. But far too many of them are sick, broken, or dysfunctional. And that makes work miserable and less productive. Let's fix them. Let's make teams great to be on and amazingly productive. We have to bring our full value. Not only will you do a better job of listening, but you'll also create the chance to have a better conversation and understand things more fully. It'll even improve your relationships along the way. When you change the value you bring, you'll change your team.